All right, we got two assignments today. This one we did together in class, but if you're not here or if you were confused, I'm going to go over it right now. Question number one is based on a property that we haven't actually talked about too much. So let's go look at that real quick. Is if you have a circle and you have a line that's tangent to the circle at any location and you have a radius or diameter that hits the tangent, let me just look. What does it look like? Yeah, it's got to hit it at a right angle. So when a radius or tangent, sorry, when a radius or diameter meets a tangent, we know that it has to meet it at a right angle. So this is saying highlight the scenarios in which AB is in fact tangent. Well, if this is a right angle, well then all of these situations need to be right triangles. So we're really trying to figure out which of these fit the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so that's a triple, so that's definitely going to work, right? Three, four, five. So that's definitely a right triangle, so that checks out. Over here, I would reduce the number, so I'm going to do a smaller triangle. Divide by three would be three, five, and six. Well, that would be nine plus 25. That equals 34. This is 36. No. So this one does not fit the Pythagorean theorem. Reduce these numbers, but wait, if that's 20, this would be 20. That's an entire diameter. So this right triangle, what can I divide by? I can divide by 4. That would be 15 on the hypotenuse, 12, and 10. Well, that would equal 225 when you square it. And this would be 144 plus 100. That is not going to get it done. So not a right triangle. Doesn't fit the requirements. And then over here, if I draw the smaller right triangle, I can divide by 4. That would be 3. That would be 4. Oh, this hypotenuse is kind of tricky because tricky just this part's 8. This is 12. How do I know? Because it's just another radius. That radius is 12, so this radius is 12. So this side would be 20. So 20 divided by 4 would give me 5, and that is good. Boop. So it's going to be the first one. And the last one. All right, hit pause, see if you can figure it out. But the basic premise on these questions are, what do I have? I have a 73-degree inscribed angle. So I know that its arc is going to be 146, or twice the amount. There's a couple of options we could do from here. Um, one choice is you could do the rest of the circle. Um, that would be, what, 204? Let me type it in. I don't want to be wrong. It'd be 360 minus 146. With 214. Good thing I typed it in. And now we have, if you can ignore these lines that are in the way, I know it can be hard, but like act like this isn't here. Isn't this now big arc minus small arc divided by 2? Now we can treat it like just an exterior angle. So it would be 214 minus 146 divided by 2 equals the angle. Minus 146 divided by 2 is going to be 34 degrees. All right, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's very specific, but look at these two numbers. Look, look, look. What is 146 plus 134? Or sorry, plus 34. That is 180. Ugh. I'm letting you in on a little cheat. If you have two tangents, so when two tangents, um, the exterior angle plus the inside arc will always be 180. If you know that, you can use it. And here's your first chance. So pause it. Try to use that new property that we just did. But we have the same thing. We have an exterior angle that uses two tangents. So if that's 175, then the inside arc is going to be 105. So what we know is that 17x plus 105 has to equal 180. We know... Nope! What am I doing? 17x plus 105 has to equal 360. 17x is the rest of the circle. So combined, we know that's 360. Um, so that would be 17x equals... 255, so 255 divided by 17 is 15 degrees. So x would be 15. On this question, see what we can do. All of these, you should really be hitting pause and then trying. 
But if that's x, the one next to it would be 180 minus x. It opens up to the angle in front of it. Its vertical angle opens behind it. So we know 2x minus 30 plus 30, right? We add the two arcs and divide by 2. That's the rule. And that equals the angle, which we said is 180 minus x. Well, this one's a unique one, right? Don't those just cancel out? And now you have 2x divided by 2. The 2s just cancel out. You're left with just x equals 180 minus x. There we go. So 2x equals 180. So x equals 90. If you got there a different way, that's fine. But x equals 90 at the end of the day. I love this one. We have multiple circles. That immediately ups the difficulty. So oh, I don't want to go green. There's green in the picture. Um, we also need to remember that a radius meets a tangent at a right angle. That's one of our newer properties. The only arc, well, the only thing we have really is this 84. Well, this angle is two things. It's inscribed on the big circle, and it's exterior to the small circle. But it's inscribed. We know it's got to be 42 degrees. It is inscribed on this big circle. So it's half its arc. From here, there's multiple paths, but I would focus on this right triangle. So if that's 42, this would be 48. The angle next to it would be um, 132, which would make the arc 132 because the central angle is the same size as its arc. There's Guys, with these problems, there's going to be more than one way often. But there we go, 132. Outside times total, oops, I messed up. Outside times total, right? Four plus five is the total, equals outside. And then the total would be 2x plus two, right? That's x minus two plus x plus four, that's 2x plus two. So we distribute, that's 2x squared, that's plus four x, ah! That's plus 2x, that's minus 4x, and then minus 4. So that's 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. This is 36. So it's 2x squared minus 2x minus 40. So I can divide everything by 2. That'd be x squared minus x minus 20. So this is now a factoring question. That's going to be x minus 5, x plus 4. So x equals 5 or negative 4. Now it's geometry. Could negative 4 work? Nope. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So that one can't work. 5 is the only number that works. Here we have part times part. x times x plus 8 equals part times part, eight times six. So when it's two chords, we do part times part equals part times part. That's x squared plus eight x equals 48. That's x squared plus eight x minus 48. That's gonna be x plus 12, x minus four, x equals negative 12 or four. But if you plug in a negative 12, it would not work. So the negative 12 is out. So these are just review of things we did last time. Hopefully you're hitting pause and trying them before I do them. Here again, we have outside times total equals outside times total. Remember that a tangent is unique. The outside is the total. So that's x squared plus 2x. What is that? Ooh, that's 3. So x squared plus 2x minus 3 that's going to be x plus 3 times x minus 1. That's going to be negative 3 or 1. But once again, can x be negative? Not on this one. I do need to remind you, x can be negative. As a general rule, being negative is not a problem. It's only a problem if you plug it in and it's still negative. So x equals 1 is the only answer that works. And then we have one more here. This one's a tricky one. We have two choices. I'm going to show you the faster way. The faster way on this one is to drop that, make a right triangle. We know that's 12. And you would do x squared plus 12 squared equals 22 squared. That gets the job done. But 
keeping with the theme of the new content, if we drew it this way, and sometimes this is the faster way, it just depends on the numbers. And for this particular one, this is not the faster way, but doesn't really matter. This would be 12. The thing is you can't stop in the middle, so you can't use just this part. It has to be the whole thing across the circle. Um, so you could finish this. This would get you the answer. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do outside times total equals outside times total, which would just be x times x. Now, we're going to take the square root of both sides. You don't have to do it this way, but we did this back in January, guys. How do I do the square root of that? I would not multiply it and make it bigger. I would, I would factor it. This would be root 2, root 5, root 2, root 17. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. 5 times 17 is 85. So it's going to be 2 root 85. All right. Love you guys. Hopefully that made sense. That's practice of all those nice skills that we need to know.